A bit of wild weather on Tuesday in our area. Wednesday stacking up much nicer than that. Brian Goddard, we've moved the rain out, it seems like, for a while. We have. Uh, you might actually, for the first time, have to water the garden or the lawn. I mean, we've had this well, for the first time. Well, <laughs> seriously? You've been watering? Of course. Oh, jeez. My lawn is nice and lush. I've never <laughs> even pulled the sprinklers out once yet. Uh, the storms from last night, if you noticed, did not materialize. The midday showers that we had yesterday took a lot of the energy out of the atmosphere. And even though we got late day sun, it just could not recharge itself. So all the storms have been staying to the south. Look at this line now from southern Michigan through Indiana into portions of eastern Illinois. None of that for us today or for the next couple. In fact, possibly for the next week. High pressure going to be dominating our weather. We're on the eastern side, so we're getting that nice northwesterly wind out of Canada, bringing us relief from the humidity on the back side of it though pumping in that heat from Oklahoma and Texas into Colorado Wyoming and Montana we will gradually see some heat remove or move back in here uh, by Sunday Monday and Tuesday even most of next week as the high will slowly move off to the east and our winds will shift back to the south but for tomorrow and Friday high pressure right over us and that means sinking air so no clouds to be found a light breeze and highs only in the 70s top 10 weather days two days in a row Outside in Waukesha, we go. See just a few fair weather cumulus clouds, 73 degrees. The dew point keeps dropping. It was in the upper 60s this morning, now into the upper 50s, dropping as we expected, and will continue to with that northwesterly breeze. So it just gets nicer and nicer out. Yesterday at this time, you could barely see Kenosha. It was raining so hard. Now just those cumulus clouds. Once again, plenty of sunshine and the temperature there almost 80 degrees. 79 officially, just like here in Milwaukee, uh, also in Janesville and low to mid 70s elsewhere across the upper Midwest. Those 70 dew points are now being pushed off to the east from Detroit down to Indy where they're having the big storms and we're seeing the drier air filter in. Still holding on to 61 here in Milwaukee. A little bit of humidity, but very comfortable and even drier air for tonight and the rest of the week. This is more like it. Thursday, Friday, even Saturday, even though it gets up to around 60 degrees like today, that's still comfortable. And then Sunday, those dew points get back into the mid to upper sun, uh, 60s, so you'll feel more humidity on Sunday, just like last weekend. And those temperatures start to warm up as well. Lows tonight after highs near 80 degrees will be in the upper 50s from Waukesha inland and right around that 60 degree mark along the lakefront with a northwesterly wind at 5 to 10. Here's the forecast for tomorrow. Uh, we're going to see plenty of sunshine if the weather clicker wants to work. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't want to work. Let me tell you what's going to be like then. It'll be in the upper 70s. There it goes. It's a little on the shy side. Beautiful sunshine. Upper 70s around the area. Could see a few 80s from Watertown to Lake Geneva. A light northeasterly wind giving this a top 10 weather day. It is going to be perfect as high pressure settles in right over us. Thursday, Friday, and even Saturday. No rain through the weekend. And the storm system off to the west of us just falls apart because this high pressure just takes its time getting out of here. That's fine. We want these nice stretches of weather during the summer months. During the winter, that would be an Arctic outblast. Uh, 81 today, mostly sunny, continually getting less humid throughout the day with northwesterly wind at 10 to 15. Tonight, 61 degrees. Open up those windows. And if you don't have AC, as I mentioned earlier, it's going to finally be a nice, comfortable night to sleep. 77 on Thursday and Friday, 80 on Saturday, 83 on Sunday and more humid. And then Monday and Tuesday, getting back into the mid to upper 80s. And you notice, no rain. This may be the longest stretch we've had with no rain in months. We're back after this.